Uh, moving on to the surprise of the weekend, uh, Lecce and Lazio. Um, questions being asked of Lazio. Are, are they ready to replace Sergei Milinkovic Savic? Mm. Um, Lecce, we talked about last week, is perhaps possibly being a team that, after the downfall in the second half of last season, that could be ripe for relegation, the old second season syndrome, mm-hmm. uh, things like that. Well, you know, nobody told these teams, and they have to play, and they went out and played. Um, a stunning result here for Le- Lecce. But we also made the comment last year. We said over and over and over again, Lecce is a very difficult fixture at Lecce yep. to go and get a result. And Absolutely. Lazio did not get a result. Uh, Chiri Mobile, as usual, scoring a goal for Lazio in the 26th minute, uh, played in by Luis Alberto. And then it was Lecce completely dominating the second half. Uh, chances... Eh, maybe not so much possession, but just firing away like crazy. And it was the new boy. We talked about him at the top of the program, Pontus Alnqvist, uh, scoring in the 85th minute. Uh, and then just two minutes later, Federico Di Francesco in the 87th, giving Lecce a 2-1 win over Lazio, the shock of the weekend. Um I, Let's start with the winners, Lecce. Okay, look, right, that that front three, Banda, Alnqvist, and Strafetza. Don't you dare play a high line against these guys, right? Strafetza was feasting all game long. He was trying to get a goal, the captain for Lecce. Yeah, this team, uh, and Banda. But I, I feel like Banda played for Red Star. I could be wrong, but um, the name, the player reminded me of, of someone I've seen before. Anyway, the, the front the three. Scout. Yeah, the front three played very well in this game. You knew that Lecce was going to be dangerous early on in the game, especially because they're at home. You know, and I was thinking that as the game went on, just before obviously the two goals, that maybe Lazio got this right. But letting you know, you know, Lecce was going to attack because they're at home. They play so much better at home. And those three guys, those front three guys you talked about, they seem to have a chemistry with each other. They, they this is the first time playing together this season. But they they look so good together. Sarfetza is really trying to be the the ringleader of this team, and um, he wanted to go so bad. It shows like the captain the captain's armband means a lot to him because he's he came out. This is obviously one game; it's a small sample, but he looked good in this game. You know, he was going for he was going for goals. He was setting up his teammates. Uh, the three of them seemed to be working very well together. Obviously, Omka has got the was fortunate with to get that beautiful goal of all a goal we can at there uh, mm-hmm. to tie the game before De Francesco won it. But uh, yeah, I, I like what the front three do what what they, what they did, and so uh, curious to see how they continue on the season. I want to see how they play on the road, but at yeah. home, as last year, they were very good, and so uh, good for them the way they came out of this game. Strafetz is eventually going to find work with another team and make some money. Yeah. Um, and Lecce is going to make some money off of him. Banda came, he bounced between the Israeli and the Russian leagues. Uh, and in Russia, he played for Arsenal Tula. Okay. Um, Israel, Israel, I think he was loaned out uh, to a couple teams out there. So that's kind of his background. Uh, Pontus Alnkvist came from uh, Pogon uh, Shazetsin, um, with from the. Uh, Polish first division uh, played for Vitesse in the oh yeah Eredivisie, yep. um, and then was in the uh, Swedish league. And I did the, the team he played for escapes me. And he so, can find the pockets, can he? I I thought he was useful. Look, I I think I think they got a gem here for next to no- I, and I think they got yeah. it for next to nothing. Um, you know, so I was really impressed with him. I thought the midfield is shaky, though. Uh, but, I mean, you're, you're going to be forgiven here. You're playing against Lazio, even without Sergei milinkovic Savic. Luis Alberto is um, still good. What's that? Yeah, he is. He can still play. <laughs> um, I think it helps them that you've got Basquiaroto, who's been there forever, but you partner him with Pongracic, um, who's got a ton of savvy, a ton of experience, has been around the block. You know, it's a veteran Central defensive pairing. Now, I'll say this. Uh, Lazio were wasteful in this game. Okay. Sure. Uh, there was a chance where Lazari shoots where he clips that across. The Kanye has a tap in. Felipe Anderson missed a great chance on a counter in the second half. Yeah. Uh, so the chances were there for Lazio to go on and win the game. Lecce got opportunistic and took advantage and won the game. And I think that that's probably where we have to just kind of 
slow all of this down, not overhype Lecce just yet because we did pick him for the drop. Not relegate Lazio. Yeah, and not relegate Lazio either. You think Lazio will probably eventually be fine. Lazio didn't play with Ravella. Pellegrini came on as a substitute, and they didn't play with Castelli. Um It was Comet's first game, and it was yeah. a forgettable one. Um, I thought he was poor. Um, and the statistics back that up. Didn't create anything, didn't shoot, pretty much ran around and fouled people. Um, you know, so it might be a, a situation where uh, the Cardinale brass was right about him. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I mean, but it's one game. Remember, we we're gonna say to, could, could you? We said the same thing about Cajus. We're gonna give the same rope to Comita. But I mean, after day one, you're not you're not impressed. So, um, and it could be the you know new league. Okay, Cajus coming over from Liga, uh, Comita coming over from Bundesliga, and having to adapt to uh, the the tactical demands of the league that that Syria offers compared to those. Because let's face it, because I think it is, I think City, uh, for all the goals that get scored, it's still a more tactical league than those two. Oh, that's probably the most tactical league in the world. Yeah. Um, what What'd you make of last year's performance in this one? Obviously, being on the road at a, at a daunting place like Lecce can be, in the way that Lecce plays at home, they had a lead for majority of the game, one nothing. I mean, what do you? What, but they didn't really create the chance, like you said. They, they were wasteful. What, what do you give Lazio's performance today? Um, obviously, in a whole, you're looking at a two-one loss, but you know, at one point, 85 minutes, they were they were up. Concerning. Okay. Um, they had the chances to have this put away. I don't think they're a team that can sit on a one-nil lead, um, or should try to. I think they, Saudi ball. You've, you you score one, you go look for the second. You don't. Sit on and it felt to me like they sat on it, even though they had a little bit more of the ball. But I mean, you take a look at it, I mean, they were outshot 23 to 10 in this game. Yeah. Um, you know, their 52% possession against Lecce, they had 10 shots, where Fiorentina's 68% against Genoa, they had nine. Yeah. I mean, and and Fiorentina scored four times. Yeah. Um, just to give you some perspective about how possession and shots and all that can sometimes maybe be meaningless, but um. Concerning. Um, some easy chances missed where this could have been put away. Um, but after one game, you can fix the, 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 the problems are fixable. Like Lazio didn't look lost when they played. No. You know, they look lost playing a style and playing in a way in the second half that I don't think is comfortable to the 11 guys you had out there. You know, okay. and... And for me, I think that that's there'll be a learning curve here for Sarri. There'll be a learning curve here for the players. Sarri's got some new guys coming in. He doesn't have Milinkovic Savic anymore. You're going to have a little bit of a transition here, and I think that part of it is that Sarri's figuring out how do I, how does this team, how do I have have this team, how do they best play? Yeah, this ain't in it. ninety minutes. But I think I, you know, up until those two goals were scored, I actually thought that that was. Almost the right strategy to use in this game. Yes, yeah. they are the better team, the superior team. However, Saudi knew that, yes, they're at Lecce. And Lecce play much better at home. They're going to get shots off. And so after they got the goal, they were like, let's not do anything too risky. Keep things compact. I mean, if you look at the the, the, the shape formation, um, and I haven't pulled it up here, but uh, they were very compact. They stayed in the middle. They just like, they tried to soak up the pressure and then try to hit them on the counter. I thought it was working for the most part. Is it the way that they're is that the bread and butter? Hell no. They should not be doing this in the year. And maybe this is a way for them to practice for maybe to try it later in the year. But that's I applaud them for trying this way, especially for a team that they know they're gonna get lots of shots off because they're good at home. And it seemed like it was gonna work for a while, but then those two goals happened where you know yep. nobody could pick up anybody there. Omquist with a fantastic goal him. and DeFrancesco. It fell apart in yep. two minutes. It fell apart in two minutes. Yep. Um, but I thought up to that point that this was the right mentality that they had to use in this in this game in particular. This is not their bread and butter. They need to get much better in this situation. But I think instead of trying to go all out attack, they were trying to be tactful in how they attach. And like you said, what oh, ten shots or whatever it was, they when they had chances they went for it, but and they were it were wasteful. But they didn't want to give up too much. And I think that's what 
I thought was working until obviously the two goals happened. So I, I'm not I'm not so down on Lazio as a lot of people are. They're certainly not relegation fodder, right? No, uh, I, 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 no. Think I think uh, they're going to be high for me in the, in the table this year. But yeah, they're going to have to learn from this. Uh, and kudos to Lecce. Lecce deserve all the credit in the world because they kept sure. coming wave after wave and two fantastic goals to get the winner there. So uh, you know, kudos to Lecce. And, and, and Lazio will have to uh, regroup and, and start all over again. But I think Lazio will be fine. I'm going to be curious with Lecce going forward. Diversa might just take his chances defending with just seven guys and leaving the front three up front and just taking his chances. I mean... If they're going to get 23 shots, why not? <laughs> well, yeah, it's all against you, so go ahead. Have at it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, in some of the comments to follow up on what you were saying, Providel we had as our goalkeeper of the season last year. So maybe it makes sense. You're up one nil against an inferior. You know what you look at as an inferior team. Let's you're you're away. Let's take our chances. We've got a good goalkeeper who can stop shots. We can hit him on the break. I think if Felipe Anderson scores that goal on that counter to make done. it two nil, this thing's done and dusted. I mean, and and those are the margins in this game. Uh, but I loved. I was. In, I mean, I well, loved. I'm intrigued by the dynamics of the front three for Lecce. Now we'll have to see, because Banda left in the 77th minute with an injury. So, you know, we'll have to see where that goes. We'll, we'll have to see where that goes. But I'm, I'm intrigued that that front three could create a little bit of danger, or because it's such a tactical league, everybody just watched tape on them against Lazio and said, here's their movements, here's what they do, here's how we're going to adjust. Yeah. So let's see how that unfolds.